you don't get better at mathematics. That is the first half of a quote by a very famous uh, mathematician and physicist. His name was John von Neumann. You don't get better at math, you just get used to it. And this is a quote that I think has a lot of meaning, and I think it can bring you a lot of inspiration, and I think we can learn from it. So in this video, we are just going to briefly discuss it. You don't get better at mathematics, you just get used to it. So when you first hear the quote, my interpretation is you, you never really understand math. You just kind of get used to it. That, that's one way to interpret it. But what he's trying to say, I think, is that if you're doing math and you're struggling and you don't understand, it's okay. Okay, that, that's a key takeaway from this quote. Because the more you do it, the more used to it you get. Okay? It's like if you're in, I'll use, I'll use advanced calculus as an example. And that's a, that's a hard example to use because it's a harder class. It's, in my opinion, advanced calculus is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest class. I think it's the hardest class in general an undergraduate math major takes. But it's, it's a decent example for this video, so let's just use it. So if you're in an advanced calculus class, which is also called real analysis, and you're in college. That's a good example in, in some sense because it's so hard, so you're gonna be confused all the time. And so you'll go to class, and typically how it works is, you know, you go to class, these classes are usually small, and you sit down, you take notes, maybe your teacher's okay, and most of the time, you don't know what's going on, but you're there because you have to take this class, and maybe you're a math major, and you're like, wow, this is terrible, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. And I think that's the feeling that a lot of people have in a lot of their classes. And you can use this quote for other classes too. Because when you're constantly exposed to things, you, know, you go to that class every day, and you see those definitions every day, and, and then you go home, and then you look at your notes, and you just keep doing it over and over again. Sure, you know, in a perfect world, you get an A in the class, but a lot of people don't do well in that class, and some people fail. But over time, through consistency, it gets easier. It, it really does. I think that when I was in Advanced Calculus 2, near the end of the course, I remember looking back on the first course and thinking, oh, oh, that was really easy, that continuity stuff we did in Advanced Calculus 1 with the single variable functions. I miss that because it had gotten harder. You know, so you, you get used to the concepts and ideas. When you, when you pick up a math book, here's a good example too. When you pick up a math book and you try to read it, different people will have a different perspective. You know, if if you tell a college algebra student to read his college algebra book, it's great advice, it's excellent advice, but that student is gonna have a much harder time than a student in calculus who's reading their college algebra book because they've already had several courses. So what does that mean? They've had experience. So even if there's things in college algebra that they didn't understand, and now they're in calculus and they're going back and they're reading these things that they didn't understand before, even though they never actually learned those things. Because they had that experience of taking all those classes up until calculus, when they go back and they see that college algebra material that they never understood, they might understand it. Chances are they will. Here, here's a beautiful example uh, that happened to me. So, you know, I got some degrees and I, at some point, 
got to teach Calculus 2 at college. I remember the first time I taught Calc 2. Gosh, this was a great class. I, I remember the students. I remember where they sat. I remember I spilled coffee on this girl's test. Oh, she had the top score in the class. And when I was grading her test, I spilled coffee all over her test. So when I gave her her test back, this is embarrassing. This is on, I'll just say it was still wet. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Her name was, what was her name? I remember her name, but I won't say it. But yeah, so experiences. Anyways, Calculus 2. So I had to teach Calc 2. And I was like, oh, Calc 2, no problem. I loved Calc 2. I loved Infinite Series. I was really good at integrating. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be awesome. awesome. Well, I think it was like the second week or third week, we had to teach, or I had to teach the disk and shell method. And so, you know, I already had some degrees, so, you know, you, you might think, oh, you should know this. No, I never learned it in calculus, too. I never understood it. So when I was a student, I was just getting used to it, like John von Neumann said. I didn't really learn it. I was just kind of just seeing it. Ah, oh, what's this thing? Ah, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on. Ah, this is terrible. And I remember that test was my only test where I didn't get an A. I got an A in the class, but... It was a terrible experience. I, I did not like the disk and shell method. So here I am, you know, years later, and now I'm the teacher, right? I have to teach these students the disk and shell method, and I don't know it, right? So what, I, what do I do? So I pick up the book, and I read it. We were using, uh, for that class, it was Larson's calculus book. So I read it, I worked through the examples, I, I went through the derivation of the disk and shell method, make sure I understood the derivation, because I had to teach the class. So I have to get up on the board, I have to explain the disk and shell method, how it works, you know, what's going on here. You have this, this region in the plane, you're spinning it about an axis, you're getting a, a three-dimensional object, and you're using calculus to find the volume of this object. And so you have to explain that to a classroom, and then you don't know it. So when I read the book, something amazing happened. I understood it like that. It wasn't, I mean, I still had to think, but it was so easy. It was so easy compared to you know, graduate level math, which I was used to. So you get used to mathematics. I, I, I tried to get used to the disk and shell when I was in the class. I just kind of hung in there, never understood it, progressed up the ranks, took Calc 3, took differential equations, took some analysis. Some, I mean, I took a ton of math courses, right? Got some degrees. Years later, go back and I encounter this creature again and I'm able to figure it out. Why? Because over time you just get better at mathematics. You just get, you just get used to it, right? You just get used to it. You get used to seeing those things. And so when you, when you see new ideas, when, when you see new things, it just becomes easier to understand. I, I, I picked up a book uh, this is recent. This is like two days ago. I was, just, I was just looking through my books, and I picked up this book by, by Jacob Barche. I'm gonna, this, I love his book. It's on ring theory. And I made a video. I think I posted the video. And there was only like one copy on Amazon, I think, at the time. I was like, ah, no one's going to get this book, or it's going to sell out. It's one copy. So, so it's kind of unfortunate when I, when I review a book and like no one can buy it. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I should pick books that like people buy, right? Not not the unpopular books nobody cares about. But that's what makes them fun. These these strange math books nobody cares about. This one was from 1969. And I picked up the book and it's a book on advanced ring theory. So it's got like I've had a lot of abstract algebra. Okay, a lot. And this book has some topics that uh, I'm not like a pro at. I've seen some of the topics. I know what all the, I've seen all the words. I see the, I see the the titles of, of, of the chapters, I say, oh, yeah, I've seen that. I know, what, I know what that's about, kind of. And, you know, there's some level of familiarity with each thing. So I start reading the book, and I'm like, oh, my God. I just, at, at first, I'm like, this reads like a novel. It was just, it was just a, a great experience for my ego, I guess. It's like, oh, it just makes you feel smart, you know. And that's what you get when you do a lot of math. And there were some parts in the book that, I was like, ah, oh, I don't know what's going on there, Jacob. Just turn the page, right? Just getting used to it. Move on to something else. And you can, you can take this advice. You know, you don't get better at math. You just get used to it. And apply it to your reading of math books. Now, I'm not saying you should read all math books like this, but, you know, if you're reading an advanced math book and 
maybe you're not up to par on it. Maybe you're just not that good and you're just like, oh, just understand what you can. And you see something, it's that exposure, and you get used to it. There, there, there's two things in mathematics. I had this professor who said this. There's breadth and there's depth. So breadth is basically what I'm talking about here. It's, it's you, you, you try to see as much math as you can, right? Try to just learn a little bit of math every day, explore different fields. And over time, your brain just gets used to it. It gets better at understanding mathematics. You get better at reading math books. This has a name, by the way, this, this idea that John von Neumann, you know, you don't get better at math, you just get used to it. It's called mathematical maturity. There, there's different levels of it. So mathematical maturity is basically, in my opinion, your ability to learn new mathematics, okay, to learn new math. And it changes. So when you take math classes, your mathematical maturity goes up, okay? And the more math you take, the better it gets. And I feel like that's how you progress in mathematics. So John von Neumann's quote, you don't get better at math, you just get used to it. It does have kind of like a, I don't know, some people might think it's like a dumb quote because you, you don't get better at math, what do you mean? You're never gonna get better? No, no, you, 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 you do get better, but he's saying you don't get better, you just get used to it in the sense that you just get better at learning mathematics and reading mathematics and exploring new mathematics and that you know makes you better at math but he's trying to emphasize the part where i think you know if if you're lost it, it's okay and i think that helps with the intimidation factor it helps with fear a lot of people have fear of mathematics i i, I guess i had some fear of mathematics but i was pretty good taking tests. I got over test anxiety pretty quickly early on. And I think it's because I did really well early on. I think people who struggle early on, uh, they have more test anxiety, but test anxiety can creep up at any time. It's, I think a lot of it's, it's all up here, right? It's all up here. Anyways, you don't get better at math. You just get used to it. What do, what do you think that quote means? This is just my personal interpretation of John von Neumann's quote. Maybe it's not the correct one, I don't know. What do you think? Do you have a better interpretation? Do you have an alternate interpretation? Do you like my interpretation? Mathematical maturity is a real thing though. Okay, it is a real thing. You know, it's, one, one time I taught, um, I was teaching a, an abstract algebra course in college. It was like an independent study. And I had, I had a small group of students and they all actually did surprisingly well because these students didn't know how to write proofs and here I am trying to teach them abstract algebra. And I could immediately tell the difference in the level of the students and the mathematical maturity they had, right? Some students were in more advanced classes and so maybe they picked it up a little bit quicker and some had less math and it took them a little bit longer, but um, it worked out really well and they all, did, they all did great. So yeah, mathematical maturity, it's a real thing. If you wanna learn math, by the way, I do have courses. They are on my website. Oh, actually they're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcer.com. I have courses on algebra, trig, calc one, two, three, differential equations, etc. Also, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Key takeaway is you don't get better at math, you just get used to it. And I know it's kind of a silly quote because I mean, technically you do get better at math, right? But what he's trying to say here is it's okay if you don't get it, right? Don't be afraid. It, in time, it does come together. I've seen it. I've been doing math for years, for years. You get better. And these, these people who have been doing math for even longer than me and I mean, you get really good at it. You know, the longer you do it, the better you get. Keep doing mathematics.